Hello guys, today I bring a little trick for these controllers. These controllers have a 2.4 GHz antenna and allow you to play with the SF2000. And they are really cheap. But the thing is, uh, their D-pad is a bit bad. I tried several membranes with different rubbers. I tried the Snash membranes. I tried the Super Famicom membranes. These are third party. But I got to a conclusion. The conclusion is the original membranes of the SF2000 of the SF2000 or the controller itself are the best. Let me explain. The thing is, with these controllers, there are there is a lot of pressure on these membranes. We can say that the controller is badly built. But the interesting thing, with a lot of ship consoles and ship controllers, is that if you play with the screws, you can get a good experience. See, I'm using the original membranes, but the thing is, they are very stiff. But since they were built for this controller, they will be the, the best, kind of. I never tried original Snash controller's membranes. But the thing is, if you release a little bit the screws, as I'm going to show, it will improve your experience for this controller. My cat is getting crazy. Okay, let me show you. We just need to snug the screws and not fully screw the, the screws. Well, just snug them. After lengthy amputations, I, Famputer, have decided the fate of the men. Famputer sentences them to death! <laughs> Snoo Snoo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what are you, gay? Uh, that hard membrane, that hard rubber can breathe. <coughs> My cat is getting crazy in the background, but it's all good. And I have the chance. I will bring the new controllers that exist for the SF2000. I don't recall if they are called SF200 or SN200, but they have uh, the configuration is very similar to the SF2000, which is nice. Uh, and, and they also have a thumbstick, which is very cool for Cave Story, Metal Slug, and so on. So guys, we're doing the, the Dragon Ball test. I can perfectly dive kick since I changed the, the position of the screws. I'm using the turbos. But the controllers with uh, the screw snug, even with the same membranes, work a lot better. As you can see, a lot more comfortable. I wish I could show you both things at the same time, but it's not easy. I will have to set two cameras, but let me try. It is so much easier to do the dive kick stuff, which improves a lot the, the gameplay experience. Goku is a beast.
Chaos Ardent Vanilla. We connected the, the SF2000 on the TV. I, um, I just want to show that this uh, simple behavior with the screws, uh, letting the screws loose for a little bit, will help the, the rubber from the membranes of the directional button to work a lot better. It's a small improvement. But as you can see, I can perfectly dive kick. Perfectly is a bit... It's different from the... Um, this game is a bit dangerous. But the uh, dive kick is not so good as in Dragon Ball. But as you can see, sometimes it fails. But for me, it has improved the, the D-pad for a little bit. We will see how it gets with the new controllers. I have great hopes for that controllers. That will uh, allow a very good experience. This is the head by Boston Dynamics. See you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, also leave a like because it helps the channel. And have a nice Sunday.